This video will walk you through taking quizzes in your courses in Talon. In many of your courses, you may be asked to take online quizzes, exams, or self-assessments, or anything else that may use the quiz tool. The term quiz is just an umbrella term for anything referring to an assessment here used in Talon. You'll always find your quizzes by going to course content. I'm going to find my quiz, click on the quiz. It's a good idea to review all of the quiz details and instructions. You'll note here under quiz period the dates that the quiz is open for you to take. You'll also want to note the time limit for the quiz. Some quizzes may have unlimited time and some quizzes may have a very strict time limit. Note the number of attempts, and then read the instructions very carefully. When you're ready to begin, click on Start Quiz. If you are taking a quiz or exam that is monitored, your proctor may have to enter a password at this stage. You can say OK. This is just acknowledging that you know that this quiz will be starting. Read the questions very carefully, and then if it's a multiple choice question, you'll choose your answer. It's always a best practice to hit save after every question. You'll know for sure the answer is saved because you'll see it over here on the left hand side menu that the answer has been saved. It is a good practice to always save your quiz responses after each question. Now you can come in here again and click Save All Responses just to ensure that all your responses were correctly saved. And we'll note here that they are all saved. Now I can click Go to Submit Quiz. If your quiz has a time limit, it's very, very important that you do click the Go to Submit Quiz before the time limit is up. Now it's going to ask you to confirm your submission. Click on Submit Quiz one more time and then click on Yes Submit Quiz one last time to confirm. On the next page you may be able to review the results of your quiz. This may not always be the case as many instructors will have this page locked down so you may only see your score. When you're ready to return you can go back to course content. 